Hello classy people, how y'all doing? Let's take a look at a stake race over at Oaklawn Park on Saturday. I know all eyes are on fairgrounds, but we got a stake race there. American Beauty for four-year-olds and up, fillies and mares, right? It's a very, very nice race. It's only a field of nine, but there's some opportunities in there, I think. It's 450,000. They're going six panels. Before we dive into this field of nine in Oakland on Saturday, please do us a favor, ring the bell, subscribe, do the things you do to support us. Remember to turn your closed caption on. That's where you can see the horse that we're talking about. Scroll across the screen. And as always, if you need to get a hold of us for our tip sheet, please email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Speedking24 at yahoo.com. Well, the number one horse is Little Tootsie, the old Tootsie horse, right? This is a very, very nice horse. This horse knows where the winner's circle is, y'all. And it's 5-2 to two on the morning line. Little Tootsie has 11 starts and 5 wins. Let me see you try to knock that. It's almost 50%, one second and one third. They paid $105,000 for this horse at the Keeneland September sale in 2019. This is a very, very nice four-year-old filly by Tapature. Uh, Tommy Amos is our trainer of record and you have Mr. Franco in the arms, right? And again, Little Tootsie has every, every right to continue to run well. The speed figures on this horse is extremely nice. Um, I still think five to two is a little short here. I would look around for better value for sure. She's already beat uh, a few of these in here. Ain't no Elmer and Abrogate as well. So the number one at five to two is a very, very nice horse, obviously winning five races from 11, coming off of a 42, 43 day freshening. So the horse is fit, the horse is fresh, and the horse is fast. So again, should be sitting in the catbird seat once again and try to make one run at the top of the lane to get these. So again, I don't like the five to two price. I'm not going to have this horse as one of my top picks. Even though you really can't knock her, I'm just going to look somewhere else. She's coming off of a two-game winning streak. Speed figures are nice, but there's a few others in here that I would lean to first before I lean to Little Tootsie. But there's nothing wrong with her other than 5-2. to two. I don't like the value at her win probability in this field at all, not at 5-2. to two. No, sir. But she's a nice filly in her own right, the number one Little Tootsie. Well, I mean, aren't we tired of looking at Joy's Rocket? I mean, it seems like she's been around forever. Trained by who? Asmussen. That's right. And I tell you, this horse has 10 starts, 4 wins, 2 seconds, and 1 third. You can't sneeze at that. Well, I tell you right now, I ran in an allowance race last time at 7 to 5 and ran horribly. Okay. I mean, uh, Santana was on the horse last time. And Santana didn't take the mount back. He's down there on Asmussen's other horse, the number five, Ar uh, Abrogate, okay? So I'm not that thrilled about George Rocket. One, it doesn't have uh, Santana up, and he's in the race on another Asmussen. So that's a negative for George Rocket for me. Speed figures are seriously light here, if you ask me. And the horse last time was beaten by Wildwood Beauty, Perfect Happiness, and Candora, you know, so she's finished fifth behind three of them by nine lifts. So let's throw Joy's Rocket off the ticket. We talked a little bit about the three horse, Ain't No Elmers. Ain't No Elmers, a nice, nice mare. 17 starts, four wins, two seconds, and four third. Mr. Calhoun is our trainer of record, and this horse is by goal since. And again, here's a horse that I think is 12 to 1, is a little overmatched in this spot. The number three horse speed figures are okay. Kind of a speedy, speedy horse. Going to try to get to the front. But I don't think she's going to be able to beat the number six, Sarah Harper, to the front here. So the number three ain't no Elmer. We're going to go ahead and look another way and throw the number three off the ticket. Well, well, well. Perfect happiness. Perfect happiness ran a beautiful race last time. She's uh, by market uh, market. Of perfect, uh, majestic of perfection. 16 starts, 3 wins, and 8 seconds. I don't like that. She's always a bridemaid. The very nice thing about perfect, perfect happiness here is that she's 8 to 1 on the line, and I don't know why. Because she did finish second to the number 8 horse in here, Wildwood Beauty. And, well, Wildwood Beauty, the number 8, is 5 to 1, but there is very good value on perfect happiness. She does have very, very nice speed figures, 
as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you kind of like her just for a value. I like others in here. I'm going to take a pass on the number four perfect happiness in this spot. Well, here's the horse that we were talking about, the other Asmussen horse that Santana took over Joy's Rocket at uh, Ab Abrogro Ab Abrogate. Abrogate. Abrogate has eight starts and four wins. So I see why Santana took this horse. The horse has won 50% of his starts, and he was on the horse the last two times, okay? I mean, really, the horse that is five to two in the race, Little Tootsie, beat him last time in an allowance race, okay? So I'm not that crazy about the five horse uh, Abro Abrogate at all here. Uh, the horse does have a right to win. But I don't particularly like either one of the favorites, uh, Little Tootsie at 5-2 to two and Abrogate, the number 5 at 7-2. to two. Now, can they run? Yeah. But I think that's short value on both of these horses. So I'm going to look somewhere else to try to find better value. But Abrogate can absolutely run as well as the number 1 Little Tootsie. I'm going to kind of look past both of them in this spot. I'm going to throw the number five off the ticket. Asmussen and Santana or not. Out. Number five at seven to two. Well, Sarah's Harper. Well, the old Harper horse. I kind of always like Sarah Harper. I'm going to tell you right now, she is the speed. And you know speed is king. I like Sarah Harper. Always had better than her a few times. She's a very lightly raced four-year-old by Vancouver. She has five starts and three of them are wins. Let me see you knock that. You can't. And two seconds. So this horse is finishing the money in all five of her starts. She's coming off of a very short rest of 10, 13 days. I don't like that, but she can flat out motor. Now, I will tell you this. Santana was on this horse last time on January 9th when he went gate to wire, and now he jumps over on Abrogate, which is Asmussen. He probably has to take that call if he wants future mounts from Asmussen. So, I understand why he took the Asmussen runner, but Sarah Harper, the number six, will get to the front here. Okay, I'm telling you that right now. They won't beat her to the front. And I would be remiss if I did not use her on my ticket. So she's going to be my first or second pick here just because she's that speedy. It's only six furlongs. She will get to the top for sure. She's by Vancouver. The only knock I have on Sarah is that she's returning in 13 days. And you know I don't like that. So I'm kind of wishy-washy. Uh, about that, but for sure, this here four year old filly by Vancouver is absolutely going to have a very nice future. Five starts, three wins in two seconds. You can't knock it. I think they're running her back a little bit too soon here, but I'm not going to be able to help myself. She's going to be on my ticket. Anybody that's going to be bounding on the lead like that, you know, their speed king is going to have that horse. That's for sure. So the number six is the speed, is the engine, and they might not catch this horse. Five to one on the line. That is Sarah Harper. And there, Candora. Candora, eight starts, three wins. You can't knock a stick at that. Uh, uh, the number seven horse. This horse is bred royally by Into Mischief, and the grandsire is Candy Rye. Jerry Hollendorf for his service and doing the conditioning of this horse. This horse came out of the same race as Wildwood Beauty and Perfect Happiness last time and ran third to both of them. She was making up ground. I went back and watched that race over and over again, and it was a little sloppy out there that day, or muddy, I would say. So if Sarah, I mean, if Candora catches a... Uh, a dry track, which I assume she will. This is her second race off the layoff. She is 12-1 to 1 on the morning line. Second race off the layoff. Previously trained by Mr. John Sadler. This is the second time that Jerry Hollendorfer had this horse. I would not leave this horse out, the number 7, Candora, off of my exactors of trots. I like the number 7 to at least hit the board to make a nice exotic wager for sure. The number eight horse, again, name comes up all the time in this race, Wildwood Beauty, went gate to wire last time, uh, very, very speedy, but the problem with the eight, Wildwood Beauty, she won't be able to get in front of the six, who we talked about, Sarah Harper, you know, so Wildwood Beauty has 23 starts, six wins in 10 seconds, again, bride made for sure, and again, I don't think you can totally throw her off the ticket, 
but I'm not that crazy about Wildwood Beauty at three at five to one here. No more than I am about the horse that ran second that day, uh, Perfect Happiness, the number four. So we're going to take a wait and see approach on the number eight, Wildwood Beauty, in this spot. Well, Miss Mosaic. Well, here's the horse that I absolutely like because of the value. This horse, Miss Mosaic, the number nine, has 18 starts, two wins, and close your ears while I say this, eight seconds. Yeah, that's right. 18 starts, 2 wins, and 8 seconds, and 1 third for $200,000. Cole Brook, I like that trainer, is uh, the trainer doing the conditioning, and David Cabrera is in the orange. The horse is by uh, Verrazano, and the last race suggests to me that this horse has finally turned the corner and is going to run even better than... Uh, she did last time when she was at the parks on December 28th. This six-year-old, again, don't win a whole bunch, okay? Obviously, 18 starts and only two wins. And, of course, eight seconds, which tells you, once again, a bridesmaid, second, second, second. You know, she is 10 to 1 here. I kind of like that. I'm going to give Miss Mosaic a chance here to at least hit the board the second or third spot. I'm going to use her in my exotics. I'm going to use her in my um, horizontal pick threes and pick fours like that for sure if I play them. But she is 10 to 1. I'm not going to get overly crazy in this race. I'm going to like Miss Mosaic in this here. Uh, American Beauty race for Phillies and Mares on Saturday, 8th race at Oakland Park. So, the bottom line is, in the American Beauty race, Oakland Park, I know all eyes is on fairgrounds. I wanted to do this race. My top pick is going to be a long shot here. I'm always looking for value. This horse isn't very speedy, so I'm going to take Miss Mosaic as my top choice at 10 to 1, hoping that she can get in the money and maybe even surprise herself by winning because she doesn't do it a lot. So, you know, if I got a gamble, I need the value, right? If I'm going to take a risk, then you need to reward me with big odds. So I'm going to take a shot on top with Mrs. Mosaic, and I'd be remiss if I didn't take the speed. Who? Sarah's Harper. They're not getting in front of Sarah here, y'all, and we know speed is king. So the number six horse, Sarah Harper, will be my second pick here as well at five to one. And uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. I'm only going to take two out of here. Uh, I'm going to use them equally, the number nine, Miss Mosaic, and Sarah Harper, the engine in the race. All right, tell me what you think here. I think this is a wide open race. You can tell by the betting line. I think the two horses that are favorite and co-favorite are a little suspect. The number one, Little Tussie, at five to two, and Abrogate, Asmussen Horse, at seven to two. The number five is uh, suspect. So I'm going to go ahead and demand value if I got to bet my two dollars in this race. I'm going to take the number nine, Miss Mosaic, at ten to one, and I'm going to take Sarah Harper at five to one for sure. Both of them could get it done here. One's going to be in the front, and the other one will be coming from the back for sure. As always, down in the description, see our disclaimer. And most of all, enjoy your weekend. Tell me what you think about the American Beauty. If you happen to take a peek at the Oakland race, I do like the two horses that I picked. 9669. I like them equally. I'm going to use them equally. Tell me what you think. Stay classy, y'all. Remember, subscribe, ring the bell, support me any way you can. Buy the Speed King of Coffee. Do what you can to help out. As always, enjoy yourself. Talk to you. Great weekend coming up, folks.